In this question part, we are told that the area that can be reached by the horse is 460 meters squared. We have to find the value of theta. Since in the previous question part, we found an expression for this area, we can now write that 460 is equal to 392 over theta squared multiplied by theta plus sine theta. From here, we'll use our calculator to get the solution. There are a few things we have to be careful with when we are looking for the solution. First, since in the question theta is given in radians, I will press the mode button on the calculator to check if the angle setting is in radians. I can see on the fourth line that it is. Next, I can either use the numerical solver or graphing to find the solution. Here, I will use the numerical solver. To get to the solver, I will press math, the up arrow, and enter. In box E1, I will enter the left-hand side, so 460, and in box E2, I will enter the right-hand side. I will start by creating a fraction, so alpha, y, and enter. In the numerator, we have 392, and using x for theta, in the denominator, we get x squared. Then we'll open the parentheses, enter x plus sine x and close the parentheses. Note that you have to close two parentheses here. Now we are ready to solve the equation, so I will press OK, graph. Here we have to be a bit careful, because this equation might have more than one solution. To get the solution that we need, I will try to take an educated guess for the value of x, or in other words, theta. If you would like to get a bit more explanation of why I do this, feel free to watch the calculator video that is about using the numerical solver when we suspect that there might be more than one solution. We know, based on the diagram and the information in the question, that theta must be between 0 and pi. Even though the diagram is not to scale, we can probably assume that theta is closer to 0 than to pi. So my educated guess for the value of theta, so the value of x here, will be 1. Finally, I will press solve, so the graph button. The result that we got, 1.439177 and so on, seems reasonable, and we now just have to round to three significant figures. The third significant figure is 3, and the fourth significant figure is 9. So since 9 is larger than 4, we round up and give our answer as 1.44. My exam-taking tip that you can take away from here is that if you are using the numerical solver on your calculator when there might be more than one possible solution, use common sense and check whether the answer given by the calculator is the one that you are looking for in the particular question.